Hi everyone. Now today we are discussing a small basic topic that is physiological herniation. Many times you must have noticed while scanning, you must have noticed that around 9 or 10 weeks or so, around 10 weeks or so when you are scanning and especially if you are doing a transvaginal scan for in the fetus for whatever reason, you may notice that the base of the cord appears thick and bright and you get confused what this is. Basically this is a clue to, this is an indicator of physiological herniation. Now let's, so let us go to the topic as to what is physiological herniation. It is a temporary herniation or a transient herniation of the bowel into the umbilical cord area and this is most commonly seen between 9 weeks to 10 and a half weeks. The primary cause, the cause that we have for this is that because of faster growth of the midgut during this period, the midgut grows faster compared to the abdominal cavity. As a result, the abdominal cavity cannot hold it inside. So the midgut herniates into the uh, umbilical cord area. And later on, gradually what happens, the midgut rotates by about 270 degrees and is finally retracted back into the abdominal cavity by around 12 weeks, which means that the physiological herniation will disappear by 12 weeks. This herniation of bowel will disappear by 12 weeks if it was temporary or it was physiological. If it persists after 12 weeks, then it will suggest omphalocele. Right. So this is what is physiological herniation. Now let us go and see what we will see on ultrasound. This is an ultrasound picture showing you the physiological herniation. You can notice here what we see. This is the fetus. This is a transvaginal scan showing you the fetus. This is the amniotic membrane which is still unfused and this is the cord area and you can see the cord here is thinner. Here at the base it is thick and bright and this is the area of physiological herniation. Now when we measured this was the diameter was around 6 millimeter which said that since it is less than 6 millimeter it could be a, a physiological because it says that if it is more than 7 millimeter it may suggest pathological herniation or omphalocele. Content other than bowel may also suggest pathological herniation but this was the content was bowel only in this it was not a solid area like liver or something. However, still we would follow this up after 12 weeks in uh, cases, in especially in suspicious cases, especially in cases where it was more than 7 millimeter. So a follow-up would be done after 12 weeks to rule out omphalocele. If we see persistence after 12 weeks, it will be suggesting omphalocele. This case, now let us just see the video of this same case and you can see the cord is showing you bright and thicker area at the base. Not only this, in addition, this case had something else. This is the amnion and once the better picture comes, this area is a suspicious area. So once the better picture has been focused, I'll show you now. See here. Now you can see the knuckle translucency not only is increased, but there are septations in it. So this definitely raises our suspicion. This raises our risk for the chromosomal anomaly and this patient definitely requires a follow-up scan further. Fine. So this is what is physiological herniation and I hope this would be beneficial to you. Thank you.